you know, you don't have to hire a bond cleaner. It's not something that you have to do because the option is always you could just clean it yourself. And if you did clean it yourself, just remember, you gotta do stuff like this. To open this up, put it under there. Try not to drop the rag when you do it. Get right in here. Often people want a bond cleaner really cheap. Now, of course, everyone wants a deal. Who doesn't want a deal? I want a deal. But here's the deal. You've got to get into everything. You've got to get in here. Otherwise, you're not going to get your bond back. It could just take you quite some time just to do this one frame, and this is only one room. Think about what your bond currently is, and then think about what the bond cleaner is charging, and then think about doing it yourself. It just depends if you want to do this. It'll probably just take you a few days to do it properly. So you could get all your bond back, but you won't get your life back. If you don't pass the inspection, they ask you to come back or you end up getting charged. And you would have just wasted all your time. You sacrificed a couple of days and a lot of work and a lot of research to know exactly what to do and a lot of rags. You can think about the cost of all the products, gear. It's not a matter of just grab your vacuum in a few rags. I mean, if you do it that way, you'd be here for a week. And then just think of the cost to a saving ratio. And you're not having to clean it yourself. Or you can buy a really cheap one cleaner and sometimes I get a good deal. Yeah, you might get somebody who's like $300, but there are so many cases where someone's hired someone for 300 bucks and they've missed things. And then you just add up a lot of money and a lot of stress. Or you can just pay the 650 for the 2x2 two two or the 550 for the 1x1. 100% certainty. You're going to get your bond back. And just get your bond back, get on with your life. Like we do this for a living. We see dirt that other people don't see. <laughs>